crazy. This dude, this dude said he tried, he uh, arrest, he's, what he just said, I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. But pretending to be a little girl, that part. Is this fight for kids? Come on, dude, what the f is at I on the internet? He said it's the funnest thing I can think of. His Twitter is at I fight for kids. Come on, dude. What the f is this? He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. Hey, yo, guys, what's happening? It's your boy, Rain TJ, back again with another reaction video. And today, I got two things before we get into it. Now, first of all, we're going to do a, a video by Jamari, of course, right? Um, If you're not subscribed, I'm going to have a link to his channel, Original Buy. He's selling clothes now, so that's kind of cool. You can check that out if you want to. Uh, and just head over drop a like drop a subscribe. It's that easy, right? And uh, I've been away I haven't been making videos often because there's mad progress with my startup company If you've been hearing me talk about it in little videos, thanks for following and uh, yeah making mad progress bro So my one tip for anybody who has any idea who want to like, you know work for themselves or whatever Just ask questions, bro and then the second thing I gotta say is my one of my really good friends who knew about what I was doing no longer is alive to follow the journey. He was brutally taken from us. Um, so I'm actually drawing him. So it has been years at this point since EDP was caught trying to get his cupcake. Sadly, all of my videos about that man have been deleted for the safety of my channel. But that was a huge story when it first broke. I remember the dude behind the catch named Alex Rosen was going around telling people he was going to need X amount of subscribers before he would drop the EDP upload. This is the video that put both him and his channel on the map and he wanted to make sure that he got his clout from that situation. Now obviously in the end he would botch the operation altogether and sadly EDP would never face time behind bars. Now with that being said, this story did destroy his life from an economic and social standpoint so now he kind of has to live in his own personal hell where he cannot afford the wing stop his heart so desires look at you up, man? i ain't go i ain't go touch you nasty i'm also selling my original youtube plaque now you're probably asking yourself well why do you bring up that old situation today well, Alex Rosen, who did the initial poach on EDP, has continued to basically become the modern day Chris Hansen, documenting hundreds of stings over the last couple of years, with some of these new stings even resulting in convictions, which is great to see. The police chief here in Port St. Lucie tells me there is no question whatsoever that this accused is only off the streets because of the work of this nationwide group called Predator Poachers. Apparently Predator Poachers had the situation already set up. All that remains is for police to arrive and hold case accountable. Predator Poachers then provided us with the necessary evidence that they had collected on their behalf to effectively make an arrest. And recently a YouTuber named Pethan came forward and made what has to be one of the worst videos I've ever seen on this platform period about this guy Alex. Hunting predators for clout. You guys notice how even in the title itself he's already putting these absolutely diabolical individuals in the victim position. Like they're being hunted like some sort of wild animals. Basically Pethan spends the next 17 minutes here defending PDF files. You know some people like JPEG, Monsters use dot web p and when you think about ethan well he's a pdf man in all seriousness he is really arguing for the rights of these absolute creeps falling for these decoy pages yo i ain't gonna lie i just remembered i watched this already yo yo this this is crazy bro this guy this guy this guy should get his computer taken away from him, bro. You're going to hear the craziness this guy has to say. I totally forgot that I watched this already. Bro, check this out, gang. Like, he sees more problem in the idea that this guy, Alex, is getting clout and getting paid from doing these poaches than he does the actual sickos right. being disgusting. So he and his 
weird little cameramen are just harassing EDP and asking him a bunch of really stupid questions like, why do you do this, man? Do you know that this is bad to do? When ultimately this is all about the money that they're making from this video. As EDP tries to walk away because legally he can, Alex calls the police for seemingly the first time ever with regards to this situation. Guys, come get this guy. Hey, police, come get this guy. He, I pretended to be a little girl. Yeah, no, a little girl. Yeah, and he said he wanted to have with me. No, not me. The little girl I was pretending to be. Like, what are we doing here? So he gets extremely hung up on this point about this guy Alex Rosen playing the decoy in these situations where he's trying to lure in a predator. Like, it really pisses this dude off that he's executing that part of his job. 19 years old, I've always wanted to be a police officer. Um, I couldn't do that in Houston, Texas, where I'm from. At 19, you gotta be 21 to graduate the academy. At least that's what it was a couple years ago. I don't know now. He doesn't want to be a cop anymore. He was having way too much fun, pretending to be a little boy all day. Well, I don't take off days. I, 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 I love to work. So luckily, I think catching predators is the funnest thing somebody can do. So it really works out well for me. That so, oh, he's so brain broken. He doesn't take off days. He just sits inside on the internet, probably scrolling Twitter all day long, talking to on Facebook, pretending to be a minor every day. Unwell, unwell. This man is 23 years old and spends all day pretending to be a child on the internet. He said it's the funnest thing I can think of. His Twitter is at I fight for kids. Come on, dude, what the f is this? He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. It's not illegal. This is also a purposeful mispainting of his operation. Pete is acting like this. I want to pause it real quick, bro. Isn't that crazy, bro? He said it's the funnest thing I can think of. His Twitter is at I fight for kids. Come on, dude. What the f is this? He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. It's not illegal. This right. Not illegal. He was saying the PDF guy <laughs> was, um, was pretending to be a little girl. He's already like defending this person. And then he's like, it's not illegal to do what the PDF guy was doing. And it's like, bro, what y'all think about that, bro? Isn't that crazy, bro? And he has the gall to get up on camera and discuss those thoughts like that, bro. Like, bro, like, <laughs> isn't that a sign of the dystopia we now live in? The world we live in now, bro? That's crazy, bro. This guy is on camera defending. <laughs> this is also a purposeful mispainting of his crazy. operation. Pete is acting like this dude is texting weirdos all day by Ooh. himself, when in fact he now has a whole team dedicated to acting as decoys. And even if the situation was the way that Pete presents it, yeah, this guy Alex might be weird or looking for clout, but doesn't the net positive of catching a creep really outweigh him possibly being a little offbeat. Either way, I have to say mm -hmm. the part I found funniest in this entire video has to be this next moment. So of course, because the predator hunter anti dog whistles are extremely right wing in nature. He was also on Tim Pool's show what? where I think a hunter should be like what the hell is this dude even talking about he's saying that calling out pdf files is inherently right wing like you have to be a conservative to think those absolute immoral acts are wrong and like most politically charged individuals out there he does that thing where he tries to come off as morally superior when he's really just a deeply insecure snowflake he's right. also the type of dude to somehow make smoke and weed look stupid as well like this fucker is in my nightmare blunt rotation for sure and y'all know uh, back in the day younger me like would have ripped this guy apart for all sorts of personal reasons but for now i'll just attack his horrible logic and reasoning on the no, but wait, hold on. If he's dressing like this, bro, bro if he's cross-dressing like this... That's disturbing. Uh, but if he's... <laughs> if he's cross-dressing like this, then clearly you can see where his mind state is at, where his taboos and normalities lie. So, I'm not judging, I'm just being logical here. You know what I mean? If he's cross-dressing like this, certain things that you and I might find taboo, he's totally fine with it. <laughs> so <laughs> it makes sense <laughs> why would he, why he would be a PDF kind of guy, you know what I mean? And y'all know back in the day, younger me would have ripped this guy apart for right. all sorts of personal reasons. But for now, I'll just attack his horrible logic and reasoning. On the scale of 
These guys don't consider anything in the metaphysical realm to these are interdimensional demons worshiping Satan. Where do your marks fall? Well, you see why I can't and take Michael Mole seriously immediately. He's like, where do you think on the scale of like interdimensional demons? Do you think these uh, random Facebook you're catching in fucking rural texas town do you think that could be alien demons i mean the interviewer if anything is trying to possibly humanize them a bit here with some understanding of why they might be this way but of course piss boy sees this as another personal attack i mean if you ask me anyone interested in violating the innocence of another person especially a child right. does not deserve to move about freely in our society just no. yesterday in georgia exactly. uh, we confronted a person who was out on bond for charges and we just showed up at his house with no messages no nothing we just had a phone number associated with an app that we know to be bladed you have an app that gives you predator's phone number if he uses and then you found his address that way and then went to his house like what is any of this technology he won't name anything he won't say what the app is called i mean it was likely an app like grind or some other social connection platform genius the dude is already being tried for having a legal shell on his hard drive you don't think they could find his address another thing he likes right. to do in this video is mention alex rosen's appearance over and over again even insinuating that he is a pdf file himself based on the way he looks because they think <laughs> that I'm a little older yeah they, they think that i'm mature enough to have a nine-year-old daughter and be a two because you look like i like adult guy who is definitely only into adults thank you for specifying now come on dude that is the pot calling the kettle black to me, you look a lot like those people I see when I go to downtown Austin now and I think how right. much you f***ed up a once great city. Right, right, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> Yo. Bro, that's crazy though, bro. Because another thing I be looking at, it's funny, we be laughing. We be laughing, but it's actually really sad, bro. <laughs> it's, it's really sad the the standard of what a man is nowadays bro, that's crazy bro i i like talking to elders like elders 60s 70s 80s if they could still you know and bro the things they had to do versus now that's why we have clowns like this parading as men bro like look look, look. That's that's a joke, bro. Real rap, that's a joke right there, bro. Like, honestly, dude, you look like you smell like Subway and bad decisions. So if I were to look through all of these, or would it be anything that I might be talking to you about? Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. He's just talking to this supposed on his recliner. He's in for tea with grandpa. Why is he like being so coy? Like, oh, I'm not gonna find anything in there if I look. He's trying to play dumb and lie as if we don't have a stack of papers. What's in the stack of papers? What is the point of what he's doing other than clout? And you guys notice how he immediately has sympathy for the person in the wrong? He's mm -hmm. such a bitch for posting so f***ing rude about this old man after the fact. When if you watch the videos, he's talking to him like it's his literal grandpa. I don't want to have to use the texts against you. Guess I gotta read them now. You know, we all have problems like this. Can you just talk to me? The f***? is wrong with you you know personally i could not give a f how he approaches his work he's gotten people convicted in 44 different states so obviously he's doing something right above that i think the exposure of these individuals is extremely important laws around protecting children are not the best and so if these weirdos can at least be put on the radars of parents right. and communities right. i think that's a really good thing and yes i'm sure he wants clout and money so this can continue to be his job what a crazy I mean, fucking doesn't... concept <laughs> right right how crazy how outlandish oh my god that is so far out to think he's gonna need money to keep doing what he's doing in this capitalistic society wow like bro these kids nowadays bro that's what i'm talking about bro these these that's a man bro that's today's standard of a man bro that kid
Shadow Hunter stuff is really gross, really exploitative of people's emotions. Like this dude probably makes plenty of money off this shit, but he's not paying for therapy. He's not getting these guys into like a housing that's away from like anyone they could do any harm to that has no internet. He's not doing shit. And he gets called a hero for it by hogs like Michael Knoll. Dude, are you serious? You want yeah. him to pay for the therapy for these slimy bastards? Yeah. To me, these what? type of people deserve absolutely no rights. And let's right. be clear. And he said, give them a house. Give them a house? What What do you think this is? Give you a house? Bro, you, you, you out here, you know, <laughs> fiddling with, you know what I mean? Give you a house? that this guy Alex is doing more on the daily for the good of society than Ethan's ever done playing a political activist online. Arguing for the rights of a PDF file acting like they deserve humanity, man, get the f*** out of here. <laughs> you know, I think our videos, or at least the intent of them is to leave no doubt that these people getting exposed and arrested uh, deserve the rest of their life, if not, you know, death in prison. So what- Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. I was just about to ask what his, like, solution is. You mentioned no, that yeah. they're weaker, which might be that they just haven't cultivated habits of virtue, right. or it might be that they just are are born with a, a weaker uh, resistance to these things. Is it just because they're idiots? Are they idiots? Yeah, I'd say a lot of them are, but you know, I- Okay, Michael Knowles is a fucking idiot. And what kind of- Whoa, I don't even want to hear it yet. Well, I'm gonna hear it, but I think, y'all comment down below what y'all think. I think it's a deformity in the brain. It's all brains are deformed in some way. There's mutation in all of us. You know what I mean? Like no two brains are exactly alike. So by definition, there is either some sort of common deformity or the commonality is the unique fact that every brain is different it's just different it's mutated different it grows different nobody you know it's like every fingerprint nobody's fingerprint is the same the way how it grows it grew it grew different you feel me so <clears throat> that's what i think it is and i come to that so that uh um answer solution or whatever you want to call it or conclusion a lot of times, bro. If you could just come to that conclusion, you could look past a lot of the craziness people do. Just, their brain is different, bro. They just, they literally think different. They can't help it. They are different. <laughs> you just, you just gotta accept that. And as somebody with a brain that's um more put together, <laughs> you, you kinda gotta be the one to, you know, take the higher road, cause your brain is all right their brain is not is it's just how it is that's what i think it is though i think their brain his like you know and it could also be like maybe <clears throat> i don't want to rant but it could be like the way you were brought up or those two variables put together the uniqueness of your brain and your thought patterns plus the environment that you were brought up in you never know the question is that are because they're stupid once again he's just riding for the freaks i mean he just seems so offended every time they associate a negative characteristic with these vile monsters like can someone please check this dude's hard drive <laughs> how many stings have you done oh my gosh um i think close to 600 over the years god damn dude he basically does nothing he he's lucked out every time he's really caught someone and actually gotten them convicted such a grifter predator poachers then provided us with the necessary evidence that they had collected on their behalf to effectively make an arrest now a couple of people have made videos on this like my buddy diesel patches and i guess this all made pethan really angry so he took to twitter to express his frustration where he says really cute to keep making videos harassing a victim of multiple csa for calling out the unethical and suspicious practices of a youtuber wannabe cop seriously f all of you you're defending an actual predator but you don't care because you want the content you're sick if I saw some overpaid hog YouTuber sitting for tea with the man that didn't us me, I'd be sick to my stomach. All of you for inserting yourself into something you don't understand. I don't <laughs> give a shit about your NPC talking points. You don't know what this kind of trauma is like. 
and you don't give a shit about children or victims. I'm humiliated I even have to talk about this. Getting called a PDF file for months on end has been crippling to my mental health. Oh, you geez. all, and I hope you get exactly what you deserve. Oh, it looks like Pete. You see what I'm talking about, bro? Men nowadays, bro. <laughs> Their brains just different, bro. They, can't, you know, what I mean, that's like the only way you could accept it. Other than that, you'll just be confused, bro. Like, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> then needs to get offline. You know, it's hilarious to me that this guy wants to have opinions on the internet for a living and then cries and plays the victim when people disagree with his takes. Like, that is just so pussy for a dude who criticizes people all day for things as simple as their political affiliation or even their appearance, where you would think this guy would be like Mr. Body Positivity, but no, the second he doesn't like you, it's you he's going to call you all kinds of terrible right, things right. and above all of that he is actually a sympathizer to these sickos and to me that means he cannot really be trusted <laughs> and let me be clear i'm not saying that this guy is actually like some sort of freak but i don't really understand what's exactly going through his brain where he's going to defend making a video like this like i really hope this is not some sort of sick self-report but y'all let me know what you guys <laughs> right. think about ethan down below y'all let me know what you guys think about his little video as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other terrible. Where we know how it's going, bro. There's uh some other terrible YouTubers. He got it. You know, what I mean, you know how it goes. If you want to watch the whole thing, you could uh watch it over on his channel. Like I said, I got a link to his channel in the description below. I'm working on destroying, like I told you guys. Um. This is how it's coming out. There probably hasn't been any visual change for you in the past 12 minutes, 15 minutes. But, um, yeah, I'm just working on his hair. Once I get the hair down, then I could get back to the details of the face. You know what I mean? So thanks for watching today's video, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.